Hillsborough County school leaders finding themselves under yet another tight deadline from the state. This time it has to do with charter schools, the contracts that determine the very existence of them and give parents a choice. Mary O'Connell tonight with what happened today at a packed meeting. Hillsborough County school leaders plan to look at their next steps after the State Board of Education took swift action. The matter at hand, charter schools. We depend on this. We depend on Woodmont. Nicole Stevens is a teacher at Woodmont Charter School. One of the four charter schools the Hillsborough County School Board opted not to renew contracts for last month. We're a family and it's all about what's best for the kids and that's all that matters. It's just them. The Hillsborough School Board cited several reasons not to renew, but that decision prompted a letter from the State Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran, highlighting the potential negative impact their action could have on more than 2,000 students, parents, and teachers. In a memo sent this Monday, Corcoran requested the State Board find the Hillsborough School Board violated Florida statute and order them to comply with the law within 10 days. This, we've never gotten to this point because normally elected officials follow the law. Um, to be at this junction is, is unprecedented. During a State Board of Education meeting today, the DOE laid out several issues, including that they say non-renewals weren't timely provided. The State Board showed their support for the commissioner's recommendation. Parents should have choice. Um, this is all, this is what it's about is, is parents, nobody knows better about their students' education than parents. I do not understand why some grown-ups are trying to close my school. I learned so much and I feel like it's really unfair to try to close my school that I love. Parents and students advocated on both sides of the charter school debate. The Hillsborough School Board will now hold a meeting next week to look at their options. And if the board doesn't comply, I asked the education commissioner what consequences they might face. It's all outlined in statute, but uh, again, I don't think we're going to get there. Okay. I hope we don't get there. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News. And this story goes much deeper. We wanted to drill down today on what are the real differences between charter schools and public schools. So today I spoke with the people at the highest levels who make the decisions and run them. In terms of funding, charter schools are funded in much the same way as all other public schools are in the school district in the state of Florida. They receive operating funds from the state based on the number of full-time students enrolled. As far as accountability goes, that's where things become a little more nuanced. On paper, charter schools are held to the very same standards as public schools, but there is a contract between the charter school itself and the school district on performance standards for the school year. And if the school fails to meet those goals agreed upon in that contractual agreement, that's when the charter school can become vulnerable to not being renewed by the school district. Today, I spoke with the Florida State Director for Charter Schools USA, Eddie Ruiz, who put into context what charter schools are really up against. You, you did mention earlier sort of being held to a higher standard. What is the difference in terms of accountability? Uh, does that come up with curriculum or, or grades? What it, is there a difference in terms of how public schools are held accountable versus how charter schools are? So it's, it's the same accountability. Um, we have the same accountability, the same cells that the district schools have, um, that we are held to the same standards. We take the same FSAs. We have the same buckets as the district schools. When I say higher standards, um, we're high, you know, the microscope is, uh, you know, at a higher level on charter schools um, because, to, to be honest, at the end of the day, if, you know, the ultimate accountability that is different is, you know, if the charter schools don't perform or if parents don't choose to send their students to our schools, um, the school won't survive and we have to shut down. Uh, but if parents, uh, but if parents choose not to send their children to district schools, the schools still there remain open. So that's what I mean, the higher level of accountability uh, with charter schools. Right. You're literally fighting for your life in a sense. Bingo. Well, we also spoke with the executive director of the Hillsborough Classroom Teachers Association, who told us the debate over the value of charter schools is sometimes misleading. She told us it often gets framed as a matter of parent choice, but she told us it really comes down to what charter schools can do with the money, the funding they're provided, which is often the very same struggle that public schools have as well. We've got more information on this developing story on our website, abcactionnews.com.